What is mastering? That's a question that I was asked not too long ago by a friend of mine, actually a musician, so I was kind of struck that he didn't know what mastering was, but today on the channel Detroit Berlin I'm going to explain what mastering is. I've been a mastering engineer for quite some time now. I work in the box, that means with plugins in the computer. But now I will be setting up an analog mastering chain with analog devices. On this episode I'm going to or I'm going to try to explain what mastering is. You got for instance, a bunch of musicians, they perform the song in a studio where it gets recorded. Then the mixing engineer, he will mix everything. That means he will make sure that the drums are nicely panned, that you get sucked into the song, that all the levels are okay, that not the voice is like extremely loud or that the drums are like just on one side, he will make sure that everything works together well and that will be a mix. He will use faders, volume faders. He will do this in the box, like inside of the computer with software or on an analog mixing console. Now all these different tracks, they go to buses. Bus is where a few elements come together, like a few synthesizers might go to one bus to have a little bit more control when mixing the track. All those buses, they go to the master bus. The master bus is a stereo bus where everything comes together. The name says master bus and you could master on the master bus, but it is much more likely that the master bus it has a little bit of processing, but not to an extreme extent. A master bus should have enough headroom, should not clip or compress too much when you export the song to a stereo track. Then that stereo track, that pre-master, can go to a mastering engineer. And this mastering engineer, he will bring a fresh set of well-trained ears to the table. He will also use EQs, compressors, limiters, saturation. He will use a lot of tools to make an already good mix. He will make that amazing. If a mix maybe is a little bit too dull, he will bring life into it. He will make it louder so that it is radio ready, streaming platform ready, CD ready, final ready. He might make different masters, one for CD, one for vinyl, exactly for that purpose. But a mastering engineer, he will finalize an already good mix and make it truly great. You could compare it with going to a restaurant. The restaurant has a kitchen. In that kitchen, there's a lot of personnel. They all do their own jobs. One will bake fries. One will cook the vegetables. One will make sauces. They all got their different specialities. And then it will be presented on a plate. The chef will come. The chef will see if it's seasoned well, if it looks nice. He will make the finishing touches so that a good dish becomes a great dish, an awesome dish. And then it goes to the customer. If a dish is way too salty, the customer won't like the dish as much. If it's too dull, also he won't have this excitement. Just the same with music. If a mix is too dull, it's not exciting. A mastering engineer, although he can't make a truly bad mix amazing, he can finalize a great mix, put a little bit of seasoning on it. If something is a little bit off, he can try to restore that. And that's actually the job of a mastering engineer. Now you can do mastering in the box, in the computer, with software, or you can do it outside of the computer with 
analog hardware. I've been mastering engineer for quite some time now, always worked in the box, which, believe me, can have really great results. Now I'm going to set up a mastering chain that is analog, probably hybrid, so I will still master a little bit in the box, but I will combine it with going outside the box, which means you got the pre-master in your DAW, your music program. It will be converted to an analog signal, therefore you need a good DA converter. Have two of them RME converters I will try out and I will see which one fits my needs best. I had an Apollo, I also have a Big Six from SSL, but for mastering you really need pristine DA conversion and therefore I'm testing those ones out. After that conversion you go into your analog devices. In my chain are the SSL Fusion which has mid-side mode. In the insert is the Bus Plus, a VCA compressor from SSL. Then it will go to the Tegler Audio Manufacturer EQP1, which is a Pultec style EQ. I'm using this in mid-side mode. For instance, when I'm adding some high frequencies only to the side, the image will get wider. And another benefit is that I can boost the bass only in the mid, because the bass should be pretty much in the middle. Then it's going back into the fusion to be processed further. And then it will go to the very tube compressor, also a device from Tegler Audio Manufacture, a German company based in Tegel. And then it will go back into my converter and it will be recorded in the box, my music software. And then the last step will be in the box so that it doesn't clip that the loudness is right and what this analog mastering chain will actually give me is hands-on control you can really work with those devices it's also beneficial to go through analog hardware just the flavor of analog hardware it is very subtle but it can open a mix a little bit. Of course, if your equipment is not of high quality, then you will actually hurt the sound and it's better not to go out the box. So therefore, if you don't have a really good ADDA converter, please don't go out the box because you probably, you will lose some quality. So what else do you need for mastering in the box, out the box, you need it for mastering. That is good monitor speakers, a good monitor controller, and maybe the most important thing for mastering is that you need an acoustically treated room so you know what you're doing and you can hear what you're doing, you're getting the feedback you should get. If your room is unstable frequency-wise, you will not be able to master correctly in that room. So everything counts, because if you take one thing away, if you're trying to master in a basement that's untreated with just bare concrete, that will never give good end results. Maybe let's have a listen at some files that are mastered versus unmastered. And then you can hear for yourself what a mastering can do to a song. Behold the storm, the storm takes form. Gather round, gather round, gather round. Takes form, gather around, gather around, gather around. Behold the storm, the storm takes form. 
So I hope that was helpful and if you want to hire me for mastering jobs you can do that via Sound Better. I will put the link in the description. If you comment on this video with the name of your band, artist or project and you send me a message on Sound Better via the link then I will master the first song you sent me for one dollar, only one dollar. So if you want an analog master of your song, write me on soundbetter.com and I will give you that amazing discount. I want to thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.